Well, hello, it's Wednesday and you join me here underneath the damson tree in glorious summer weather. Isn't that fab? Well, I've got a lot to tell you and show you today because I've been very busy and there are lots of things coming up. So hold on to your horses, as they say. So the first thing is, uh, you remember last week I uh, got some lovely yarn to knit a sock for my friend who's having a big birthday in August. And so um, here it is, I've got then the first one, and uh, here is the yarn that came from my, it's all from my stash. This is lovely, it's Blue Face Lester, it's from a company called uh, Soggy Kukraba. I'm not sure whether they're still around. Uh, I bought it from a shop uh, called uh, Yarn O'Clock in Mulder, which is a great place to pop into if you're in North Wales. And uh, this is yarn, West Yorkshire Spinner's uh, signature fourth line. So that's the sock. Now you might remember, if you were eagle-eyed, that the pattern, which was a free one from Winnick Mum, and usually doesn't, I don't really can see there. It's quite lacy, and I thought I'd do it in that. Now, I did try the lacy thing, so I'm going in and out of what's shadow. I did try the lacy thing, but it was doing my head in, and I thought, I'm knitting to a deadline, I can't be doing with all this fifth puffing. And also, the wool, it's lovely, but it's a bit splitty, so all the lace work, it was I was splitting the yarn with my needle, so I decided to do a much simpler thing there. So that's just a diagonal lace using SSK and uh, yarn over. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of SSK and yarn over, the principle of this thing is that if you've got a project and it's doing your head in, there are a number of approaches you could do to deal with it. One is you could throw it in an autocorner corner and forget about it, which is a waste of time and waste of money because you've already spent some time on that. The other way to deal with it is to think, well, how can I simplify it? Now, in my experience, there are two types of, or people tend to two types of knitting or crochets. One is those people who religiously follow the pattern, and then the other end of the spectrum are those people that just make it up as they go along. I'm somewhere in the middle, so I like to have a pattern, and sometimes I'll use it for inspiration, so I'm quite far down on the spectrum. If uh, it's uh, uh, something new, I tend to follow the pattern. But what I do is I tend to accommodate depending on what I'm doing. So if I'm knitting, I could change the rib if I don't like the rib. If it's a complicated uh, cable pattern, I could simplify it. If it's um, a complicated treble and I want something a bit quick, then I can reduce the complexity of the treble as long as the stitch and the crochet is the same height. So I'd encourage you, wherever, whatever type of uh, crochet or knit you are, to try something new. So if you do follow the pattern all the time, try think about how you can adapt your pattern to include something your favourite stitches or a different rib. Or, or a different length of sleeve. If you make it up as you go along, try looking at a pattern to see if you can pick up any hints and tips to include in your make it up as you long go approach. Anyway, just a thought. So there you go, got to finish that by the 11th of August. That's why I'm taking it around everywhere with me. So what else have I got to show you? Well, you might remember last week, the saga of the, the wool. Now you might remember that I bought this lovely wool in um, uh, Wonder Woman Wales in April and I opened the packet of yarn a couple of weeks ago to knit as I'd finished off a project, got knitting and found that the yarn uh, was not what I needed. Some of it was double knit and some of it was Aaron. So I went back to the Wensley, uh, Wensleydale Long Wool Shop and they came up trumps. They've sent me the correct wool and a free coaster. So well done to them for quick and friendly service. So, uh, but the lesson there of course was do check your balls before you start your project. So there you go. So that's that there. My hair's a bit long, isn't it? I'm having my hair cut tomorrow, so next week it should look a lot tidier. Um, so, I've done that. Now, that's on hold because I've got my sock in it. The other project that I've had going for a long time that's been resting a while has been this one. So, there you go. That's uh, uh, Fields of Gold by Jane Crowfoot, who I love her designs, the way she puts the colours together, the the style, the, the flowers and the, and the stitches. They're really wonderful. Um, and uh, I succumbed to this at your, uh, Yarndale last September. I started it very quickly, but I had other projects, so I've, it's been, as I say, resting a while. But now I've done all the different elements. So I've done the, the big sunflowers, I've done the little half poppies, I've done the, the full poppies, and it's all a matter of um, putting it together. So I've put the side ones on and I've got the big ones to go in there so I can do that. And then there's a border which I've started doing because I do things out of order, you know. Um, but um, yeah, it, I've loved doing this. The colours are absolutely fantastic and uh, are really, really good. So um, yeah, so that, that hopefully will be uh, finished fairly soon and then I'll have another of my whips out the way. 
of which I have many whips, but I won't go into all of them because we'll be here forever. And I've got other things to, for you, to tell you about when I've got other people to write this down. So, new cro learn to crochet classes with me starting on the um, 3rd of October. I have an, an afternoon class starting at 1 and an evening class starting at 7 for two hours, four week course, and it's just £70. Now, if you've done it before and want to refresh yourself, you can do that for just £35. Uh, so do get in contact with me either by Facebook, YouTube, or my email, or my phone, WhatsApp as well. Um, and uh, then I'm following that on with a four-week course for Next Steps in Crochet starting on the 7th of November. Now, for those of you who want to learn to knit, I'm doing a knitting workshop on the 12th of October, which is a four-week, four-week, four four-hour class for £35, and you'll cover the basic casting or knitting and a bit of purling, and an introduction to patterns, so that when you go away, you hopefully you should be able to make some things. And then uh, a lot of you have said you would love to learn how to do Toon Museum Crochet. What well, Toon Museum Crochet, you ask, why do you have to come on the workshop? Which is on the 9th of November, and that's another four hour uh, workshop, starting at 12, finishing at 4. I uh, haven't pr priced that one out yet, but uh, I'll give you more details on that. So that will be in November, so lots of crochet and knitting and things to do in the autumn. Um, the other things which are not my events, but ones that I think might be you might be interested in, on the 15th of August, is Granny Square Day. So um, who knew there was a thing? Well, Granny Square Day is a good way to show off your Granny Squares. I know lots of you have done Granny Squares because you've been on my Granny Square Blanket course, but uh, perhaps you want to share your favourite Granny Square. And um, at the moment, that one's my favourite Granny Square. Um, and then on the 17th of August, there's the pop-up wall show at Hume Hall in Port Sunlight, which is a great little show to go and it's not far from Chester where I'm based. If you're a bit further away from Chester then it's a bit further away but however it's a nice friendly little show and might pick up something of interest for you. So those are my things there. Um, just a reminder that if you like watching my videos then please make a comment either on Facebook or on YouTube and it's great to hear from you. I've got some followers from far and wide and one of my latest followers is from Shetland which is great because Shetland's a wonderful place. Um, and I need to go back there and buy lots of wool. Anyway, uh, that's perhaps for later. That's all from me this week. I hope you're having a fantastic week and, be, and are able to appreciate the lovely warm weather. And if you haven't got lovely warm weather, I hope you're having a fun time anyway. And I will see you next week. Bye for now.